This is NAB Show Live. Hi, I'm Michael Robinson with Broadcast Beat, and this is NAB Show Live. I'm in the North Hall of the Convention Center in Vegas, and I'm in the lava booth, my, my friends, with one of our major consoles. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I'm actually going to be talking to Michael Dosh. He's actually the, what is your title? I'm at the, the product manager. The radio. product manager at the company. For Lavo Radio, radio products. Lavo Radio products. So, right. so tell me about NAB Show. What does it mean for you guys? Ah, it's fantastic. We meet so many customers here, but customers like you, in fact, because I think you're using, in your studio over here, you're using Lavo Radio consoles. So maybe I should ask you. I have, I have to tell you, it is one of the most amazing boards I've ever used. It's simple, it's streamlined. Am I selling your product? You know, I think I'm going to slip you that $20 we talked about. I'm going to slip that to you later, okay? So that's going to be Catfish, uh, you'll <laughs> your, your name, right? Yes, I'm Catfish. Catfish. My friends call me Catfish. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's talk about what you're featuring at NAB Show. Okay. We, uh, at, at Lavo Radio, and, and let me ask you this question before we get into it. Are you asking about Lavo in general, or are you asking specifically about Lavo Radio? Whatever you choose to talk about would be fine. Okay. Uh, Lavo, the company, we specialize in audio and video over IP. Uh, our unique position in the industry is that we're the technological leader for media over IP. So we, are, we actually have video, we have audio for video, uh, we have uh, control, and we do radio. And uh, the, uh, the, the basis for all of our technology is IP. It's at the core of everything that we do. So tell us about the, uh, the main feature of the show this year. Uh, I, I would say that everybody is either asking about IP, planning IP. It, uh, we're, right at the, uh, we're right at the intersection of a transition between the way people used to do broadcast and the way they want to do broadcast in the future. And we're, kind of right, we're right in that transition phase where all kinds of inter interesting things are happening, but then again, there's a lot of confusion and uh, you know, people have a little bit of fear because they're embracing this, this new technology. And uh, one of the things that we try to do at Labo is we try to show complete working solutions as opposed to perhaps a science experiment that somebody might, you know, they might say, well, we can make two things work together using an IP switch. At Labo, we're actually showing real project, real, real executed projects with real customers who are doing broadcast right now over IP. And so a lot of, a lot of customers are, are actually very relieved to hear this because they, they don't have to sort all of this out on their own. They can work with a partner like Labo that can help them understand you know, all, the, all the nitty gritty bits and pieces to make everything happen that they need. To ha that they need. So we have my favorite board. It's a, a digital board versus an analog. Can we take a look at this? And uh, is there anything, well, it's a little bit bigger than the one that I have. Uh, what are the main features of it that's different from what I'm using at the moment? Well, that's a good question. The, the console that you have is similar to this. It's called Crystal, and it is a little bit smaller than this. This is Ruby. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, Crystal's big brother, but they're very similar. In fact, if you, if you sat down to this board, you'd be very comfortable with it within five minutes. Uh, so maybe I'll talk about what's in common with both of them. And uh, what's in common is that with Lavo Radio products, uh, you probably noticed that it's a very clean interface. It's, it's very simple. What we've figured out how to do is to give you all of the things that are essential to doing a radio broadcast. And we move everything that's non-essential over to the touch screen. And so on the touch screen, you have access to perhaps EQ, processing, gain settings, things that you don't normally want to change on the air. You still have access to them, but you put them on a touch screen. And that also gives you the ability to perhaps have different people during the course of the day with different access. Perhaps you get access to EQ and the overnight kid that's a high school student, maybe we don't give him so much access so he doesn't get into trouble. And uh, so that's, that's actually why you see the, the, you know, some people will ask us, well, what, where is everything? Well, everything that you need for the radio show is right in front of you, and everything that you need to, to customize your radio show is right here on the touch screen. So I would say that's probably the, the big difference when you look at our consoles, what right. you're going to see here. Right. No, I certainly believe that the uh, customizable feature is very important because, as you mentioned, you have all different types of talent using the radio, and uh, you want to be able to limit certain people's access to you know, the, such a fabulous, expensive equipment. I, 
Yes. Well, it's not that expensive. <laughs> <laughs> to some it might be. Well, Michael, thank you so very much for joining us. And uh, what are your plans here at NAB Show? What are you looking uh, to see? Uh, I actually normally don't get around too much. They make me stand here and talk to customers. Uh, but I like that. So I get to meet a lot of people and talk to them about what they're trying to do. It's very exciting. Michael Dosh with Lavo, thank you so very much. You are... Uh, you're, you're a master at what you do, Michael. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. That's a huge compliment coming from this guy. I'm Michael Robinson from Broadcast Beat, and this is NAB Show Live.